Hey guys, it's Layla. Today we'll speak about the foot. Starting with the bones as usual. So we've got the tarsals, the metatarsals, and the phalanges. There are several joints within the bones, but the one that connects the shin bones to the foot bone is the tibiotalar joint. Onto the muscles, we have two main groups. You've got the extrinsic ones, which come from the leg. You've got the anterior muscles, the lateral, the posterior of the leg, and then you've got the intrinsic muscles, which are within the foot. So starting with the extrinsic, you have two muscles coming from the fibula. So you've got fibularis longus and fibularis brevis. Then in my last video, I spoke about the extensor digitorum longus and the extensor hallucis longus, which are coming from the shin. They're a part of the shin. And tibialis anterior or the anterior tibial muscle, also the tendon ends in the foot. Now let's speak about the intrinsic muscles of the foot that are 10 in number and you have four different layers. Try to think of it as, you know, when someone gets kidnapped, they get abducted, right? And then after that, due to the police or the family, they're brought back, so they're abducted. So your first layer has abductors and then your third layer will have the adductors so they're brought back hope that helps i don't know okay so the first layer of muscles you have the abductor digita minimi and the abductor alusis for both the little toe and the big toe and then for the other digits you've got the flexor digitorum brevis in the second layer you have only two types of muscles you've got the quadratus plantae and then you've got the lumbricals in the third layer, we have three muscles, as I mentioned, the adductor. So we've got one adductor hallucis. And if you remember in the first layer, we had a muscle for an abductor for both the big toe and the small toe. Here we've got a flexor brevis for both. You've got a flexor hallucis brevis and then a flexor digiti minimi brevis. Onto the fourth and final layer, you've got two types of interosseae muscles. You've got the plantar and the dorsal. For the innervation, just remember that the tibial nerve gives off lateral and medial plantar nerves, branches, and there's a deeper branch for the deeper layers. The blood supply is just the dorsal pedis artery the, and the arcuate arteries and for the venous drainage it is the dorsal venous arch the veins they drain into the saphenous and the femoral and the artery comes from the femoral and the tibial let's rewind so the bones are tarsals metatarsals and phalanges the joint is the tibiotala joint muscles you have extrinsic which is extensor digitorum longus, extensor hallucis longus, fibularis longus, and fibularis brevis. Intrinsic muscles, first layer, you have the abductors, so abductor digiti minimi, abductor hallucis, then the flexor digitorum brevis. Second layer, quadratus plantae and lumbricals. The third layer, one abductor hallucis, then two Flexors, so flexor digiti minimi brevis and flexor hallucis brevis. And the final layer you have the interosseae, plantar, and dorsal. Innervation, medial and lateral plantar branches of the tibial. Blood supply, dorsalis pedis artery with the arcuate, and then the venous drainage would be the dorsal venous arch. Alright guys, that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.